Hello church and welcome to this tutorial getting us ready for our new Vespers service which will be starting on June 2nd. We've been on Facebook Live for our midweek Vespers and Compline services for over a year now and uh, as we were preparing for summer I was considering well should we return to last year's summer Vespers or would it be better to try something new and as I was still thinking about that um, some conversations with the congregation and some members of the congregation brought up the idea of doing more jazz in worship and so I thought hey a jazz vespers could be a lot of fun so we're going to be doing jazz vespers uh, this summer we'll start out on June 2nd and 9th on Facebook live uh, that's been our venue for over a year pretty much since we started doing midweek services online um, but starting on the 16th of June, we're going to be practicing some skills for uh, hybrid worship. And one of those ideas is, well, maybe YouTube Live is actually the better option for us. It's more accessible. More people have Google accounts or, or have access to YouTube anyway, uh, as compared to Facebook. So it would be potentially a better venue for us long term. So we're going to move over there starting on the 16th, but it'll be every other week through the summer. The other week of the summer, we're going to be doing a spoken Vespers of Psalms and prayer, and that'll be very limited attendance. That'll be in person. But the reason that it's limited attendance is that we're also going to be trying out some new technologies and some new like how to set up physical locations and stuff at the church. And that has its own complications hopefully we'll figure out by a couple times in we'll we'll have figured out the live streaming over there as well but for now starting on the 16th of june um every other week we will meet for uh sung vespers as much music as we can cram in there over on youtube live but it's a new service to us it's a jazz vespers uh so i thought it would make sense for us to learn some of these pieces together now um, our Jazz Vespers is going to come to us largely from a woman named Deanna Witkowski. Deanna Witkowski is a sacred jazz pianist, among other things, um, but she is a sacred jazz pianist, currently a doctoral student at the University of Pittsburgh, but she lived and worked in New York as a jazz pianist for a really long time. So uh, she's got a lot of interesting musical ideas and she's got a lot of experience both as a church musician and as a performer and when I first heard a couple of the pieces from her Jazz Vespers I was like that's the one that's the one for Trinity so I thought I'd take us through a few of these get us used to them a little bit so that when it comes time on the 2nd of June to sing these together uh, we'll have that under our belts and when we're there on Facebook live that'll be a little bit easier and then again when we move on the 16th over to, to YouTube live we'll be singing the same service and uh, so we'll want to have a bit of this under our belt. We're going to start with Christ the Light. The Fos Hilaron is uh, ancient ancient text, ancient hymn. It's a it's a hymn celebrating Christ as light. Now we understand that God is the God of the dark and the light, that God embraces us in the womb of night time, and that God shines and brings uh, illumination where it is needed. Both of those things are held in God. But this ancient text was written back in a time when nighttime was unsafe and scary. So the reassurance of Christ as light has historical significance there. This Falls Hilleron is written by Deanna Witkowski. Let's take a look at it together. It's 
Christmas drinks the strain of your esteemed and splendid name. Oh, Jesus Christ, as daylight fades, as shines the Spirit blessed and with them one. Another component that we may include in our evening worship is the Kyrie. This is another ancient, ancient, ancient text. One of the first corporate prayers that we shared as Christians. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, meaning Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. I'll play this several times through so that we can uh, get a feel for it. The middle section, the Christ have mercy section, is a little harder to catch on to than the Lord have mercy sections. So if those are the pieces that you would like to grab onto and uh, find your way back to, that is absolutely appropriate. And so here we go in this sort of rhythm and blues ballad on the Kyrie eleison prayer. no text is more associated with a Vesper service than Psalm 141, let my prayer rise as incense before you. The Psalm 141 has been a, the text associated with evening prayer for centuries, and the way that Deanna has said it here, we've got an assembly refrain on that familiar let my prayer rise text, and then a cantor can sing a verse or two or three in between. So for our purposes for learning, uh, we'll sing the refrain a couple times through. I'll sing one verse and then we'll sing the refrain again to reinforce it.
sentence The lifting of my hands As the evening sacrifice Let my prayer rise Before you as incense The lifting of my hands As the evening sacrifice The lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice Let my prayer rise before you as incense The lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice Here's a verse The lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice Let my prayer rise before you as incense The lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice The lifting of my hands, the lifting of my hands Sacrifice. A liturgical component that isn't usually used in Vespers but is uh, often sung in Compline is the Nuc Dimittis, the, the Song of Simeon, the Now Lord You Let Your Servant Go in Peace. It's been one of our favorite pieces in Compline. Uh, every time that we've sung it together. And even though we won't be using it in Vespers, at least not very often, I really love this arrangement of it and I thought I would share it with you. Again, it follows the assembly refrain and canter verse model. And so we'll sing the refrain a couple times through, then I'll sing the verse and uh, we'll continue that pattern until we're through the piece. We'll use this kind of as our benediction to this little tutorial. refrain again. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. We'll get that again. Here's a verse.
singing along with me. <laughs> Peace be with you as we continue to learn these pieces and familiarize ourselves with them. This will begin on June the 2nd on Facebook Live and will trade over on June 16th to YouTube Live. And then from there we will be alternating every other week with the Jazz Vespers and the Spoken Vespers of Psalms and Prayers, which will begin as a limited attendance in-person service and we hope we will eventually be able to live stream as well. We will keep you posted about all of those things. Peace be with you. <laughs>